Ida, what can I do for you? I was wondering whether you've approved my application to do customer service training. Look, um... Everyone else in the team has done the training. I've applied three times now. Yeah, well, customer service is about how you present yourself. It might not be the best place for you. I'm really polite, and customers like me. But customers have to trust you. I'm a very honest person. I'm good at my job. No, nah, no, nah. it's not that. It's your scarf thing. My hijab? Look, I'm not racist, but some customers don't like them. So we don't think you should be in customer service. You won't be getting customer service training. We're going to put you in accounts away from the customers. <laughs> We've got all sorts back there. <laughs> But I would rather work with the customers. Accounts isn't my job. Ida, if you refuse to go to accounts, I'll have to let you go. Sarah, can you show Ida to accounts? Sure. Ida, he can't refuse to train you or move you to another department because of your religion. That's discrimination. Discrimination is illegal. But what can I do about it? He's the boss, and I need this job. There are places you can go for help and advice, like legal aid. You could call them and see what your options are. They're free, and no one has to know you're getting help. Hello? My boss won't let me do customer service training because of my religion. He's moved me to another section of the office. He says customers don't like my hijab. It sounds like you need some information and advice about discrimination. In Australia, it is against the law to discriminate against people in the workplace because of their religion. Firstly, I need to get some details from you. This is all confidential and will help us work out the best way to help you. There are some different options for what you can do next. If you feel comfortable, you could speak to your boss. If you don't want to do this or if the behaviour doesn't stop, we can help you write a letter to your boss explaining that what he is doing is discrimination and that it is against the law. This letter could ask your boss to stop the behaviour, apologise to you, pay some money for the damage caused, or do some training to make sure it doesn't happen again. If this still doesn't work, we can help you make a complaint with a Human Rights Commission. <laughs>